Hey everyone, this is your girl Sandra D and I am hoping and I'm praying that you all are well, that you know today find you in good health, that you woke up this morning with the attitude of gratitude because it's another day and God has been good and God has been merciful and we've got a lot to give him thanks for. Today I just want to share with you um, based around the story of Lot and his wife. And we can read about Lot and his wife in the book of Genesis 19. And we see where Lot was living in a place, with his family was living in a place that was not pleasing to God. He was connected to people that was not pleasing to God. His neighbors, his community, what they, what they were doing wasn't pleasing to God. But because of favor, when God decided to destroy Sodom, because of favor, Lot was given an, an opportunity. Lot and his family was given a second opportunity to start over. They were given the opportunity where they could leave before the place was destroyed, before Sodom was destroyed. And they were given the opportunity to start over again. Now, before they leave, they were given strict instructions that when they leave, they must not look back. But we read in the story um, that on their way towards where they were going, his wife looked back. And in looking back, she became a pillar of salt. She was turned into a pillar of salt. Um, but Lot and, and his daughters, they, they escaped and they were saved. Now, I want to ask you a question today. What is it that's holding you back? What's in your past that's holding you back? You know, there are many of us, we've done things in our past that we're not happy about. We've done things in our past that we can say we're ashamed of. But at the end of the day, we serve a merciful God. There's a God out there who is saying to you, in Psalms 103, that as far as the east is from the west, that's how far I've removed your sins. Some version of the Bible say your transgression. The enemy have a way to remind us of who we were, where we're coming from. But I want to say to someone today that your past is something that shapes you. Your past, yes, even though you might be ashamed, it's a part of your story. It's, it's there for a reason. It can be there for a reminder to remind you never to go back. It can be there for a reminder to remind you where you're coming from, where God has brought you from, and how good God has been to you. Now, there are some of us that are caught up in relationship, and I feel that this is where I want to take this we're in relationships that are not good for us. They're toxic. But we're so caught up in them that we want God, but at the same time, we want this relationship too. I'm saying to you today, you've got a choice to choose. Choose whether you want to live your life right or you want to stay in that toxic situation. Choose whether... Whether being in that toxic situation makes you more happier than being in a healthy situation or in a healthy relationship. So many times we are doing things and within us our conscience tell us clearly that what we're doing is wrong. But we choose to do it anyway. Sometimes we get help to come out of the situation. But we are constantly looking back. We are constantly hanging on to things. You know, it's, it's like having your house that is full of clutter. And some of us as women, we love to clean our wallrobe. And so we say we're, you know, decluttering our wallrobe. But then we'll hold on to that dress and that skirt and those shoes that burn our toes. And those dresses that can't fit us anymore. But we're holding on to them saying, you know, one day I might get back to that. I'm saying to you, 
When you're decluttering, declutter. Don't hold anything back. Remove everything that is not working in your life and replace it with the love of God, with the truth of God, with the righteousness of God that has given you hope, that has given you new insight, that has given you a new opportunity, that has given you favor. Learn to hold on and move in the direction that there is light at the end of the tunnel. There's no point in us staying in a tox toxic relationship or in a stagnant relationship with someone that's not going anywhere. What are you looking back for? Learn to recognize that stronghold that's in your past, that's causing you to look back, constantly looking back. That's most of the time are causing you to make the same mistakes over and over and over again. I'm saying to you today, it's time to move forward. There's this song that the youth choir sang in our church. It says, I'm not looking back. I'm moving ahead. I'm here to declare to you that my past is over in you, Jesus. All things are made new. I've surrendered my life to Christ and I am moving moving forward today's your day to move forward it's the beginning of the rest of your life make a decision choose to let go of the things in your life that are toxic choose to let go of the things in your life that are dormant that are not doing anything for your life they're just taking up space declutter your life make room for new things Make room for new joy, new peace, new relationship, new friendship. Your new home, your new car. Make room for your husband to be, for your wife to be. Make room for that child you've been praying for. Make room for that job. Start applying. You can't sit down with your CV and think, magically the job is just not just going to come to you faith without works is dead you have to start looking into yourself you have to start become more proactive start stepping out in faith activate that faith believe god say to yourself you know what i refuse to die i'm not gonna sit here don't be like the man at the pool that sat there for how many years and every time the angel come and trouble the water he didn't make enough attempt to get to that pool. Tell yourself, will yourself to let go of the past. Will yourself to move forward, to stay focused, to be consistent in what you're doing to achieve your goal. Remember, as I tell you in all my videos, you were created with purpose for purpose. One of my friends said to me, Sandra, it's for a purpose. Well, it can be for a purpose, or it can be for purposes, but you were created to fulfill a purpose. I want you to know that you are special in God's eyes. That he loves you with an everlasting love. Hence why he sent his son Jesus Christ to die for you. To give you the opportunity to a new life. You become a new creation. The old man are passed away. All things are made new. You have surrendered your life to Christ. And your decision, your decision should be that you're moving, you're moving, you're moving forward. Don't aspire to just make a living or just to do the norm. Aspire to make a difference. You can do all things through Christ. That strengthened you. This is Sandra D. I hope you are blessed. I hope this message will find you in good health. I hope this message will find you and it will stir your heart to start evaluating yourself. See where you're at. Check yourself. See who you're connected with or even the job that you're in. Is this really what I want to do? Do I have the passion for this? What is it am I, am I passionate about? Why am I sitting on my gift? 
What have I done? What have I applied to my life to develop my gift? I hope that you will look into yourself. I pray that you will move forward because you can do all things. That you will move forward, that you will be the example, that you will be that leader that you were called to be. Remember, it's not about fame. You don't have to be on the telly, but your life will make a difference to someone. Whenever I do my videos, I pray that it will touch many. But if it's even one soul, that's enough. Because as a songwriter say, if I can help somebody as I travel along, then my living, me, Sandra D, my living shall not be in vain. I love you with the love of the Lord. Stay blessed. And tune in for my next video. Like, subscribe, and share. Sandra D. Motivates. God bless you. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.